Hello curious people. Today we're going to discuss a wastewater control system. This is actually a combination of several different projects we've used, but it shows the basic controls for various wastewater handling projects. Many of these facilities were metal recovery facilities. They would remove wastewater, fuel, oil, lubricants, seawater, rainwater, and everything from the metal and just process the metal for waste. The foreign liquids had to be separated out from the heavier or the organic materials and then the water could be processed by the local wastewater system if it met the local standards and requirements. So now we first start with a process flow diagram where we describe all the inputs to the system, where they're coming from, and all the outputs from the system, where they're going to, whether it's a landfill or wastewater or wherever the different end processes go. Next, we work with the engineering firm in, involved in the design and pick out the various instruments and controls and processes that need to be added in to perform a complete system for the wastewater processing. The next thing to do was to develop a process diagram for this specific operation. This was a PNID which shows the process and instrumentation. It shows all the materials coming into the facility and all of the outflows such as the dry cake going to a landfill and the discharge going to sanitary sewer. It also shows the computer that was logging the data of all the various parameters so that they can prove it to the... The next step was to develop a complete set of wiring diagrams. These diagrams showed where all the wires were connected both internal in the panel and out in the field so everything would fit together. That way we could start building the panel to ship to the field and the field people would know how to make the connections out there. Back at SDRG, the control panel was fabricated and thoroughly tested and actually there was more than one control panel. There was also a small control panel for the filter press where they could adjust the pressure rate at which it increased and how compact it made the filter cake. While the panel was fabricated, work was going on behind the scenes in developing the computer system. The computer system had to be programmed to interface with the hardware as well as the screens had to be made that displayed what was going on out in the field and on top of that there was a data logger that kept track of everything that was going on so they can prove that they met the requirements of their outfall. Once the panel has been completed it had to ship out in the field and all of the field instruments had to be integrated with all of the wiring and the computer so that the whole system worked as a whole and performed the necessary functions of filtering the discharge water. Finally, once the plant in, was in operation, it was very important to keep up with both the outflow to the sanitary sewage as well as the quality of water that was being discharged. In order to accomplish these things they actually had a wet lab on site so that they can measure the quality of water and they had to accurately calibrate the flow meter so that they can prove the discharge was within their limits. Thank you again for watching our video. We appreciate your time. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel when, so you will be ready whenever we get new content. Thanks again.